what is going what's good okay is your brain someone to be and i'm glad that you guys watching this are back once again on my youtube channel so what's happening is that today we are going to be looking at some of the ways that you can learn to better your entries because remember guys it's okay to get the right technicals it's okay to have the right fundamental strategy but if you can get the execution the entry point on point then automatically you are far ahead of most retail traders so that is one thing that we are going to be focusing more on and this topic was inspired by you know when you've been in a position you see that the market is gonna go down and yes you take yourself and boom it goes down a bit and then boom it goes against you it hits your stop loss what and then eventually when you look at the markets the next day you find out that it did go at your take profit in fact you're supposed to you made um, a lot of money Here comes so that's what we are going to be speaking about obviously if you believe that this video was made for you i need you to do something for me which is to like this video at the same time subscribe to my youtube channel and the last thing that i need you to do is to comment below down in the description comment and let me know what it is that you know some of the challenges that you faced when you've been trading i reply to every single comment so make sure that you do give me those comments so yeah, let us now get into the charts. I want to show you guys some examples of what it is that I'm saying. I'm going to show you with also a real life situation that happened with me. And at the same time, I will give you guys solutions on what it is that you can do in order to improve it. Just so moving forward, you never reach this. Let's go. So let us move over right here in front of me. I've got the chart. And this thing happened when I was trading GBP USD. It's not even, um, I think it's Euro USD. Yes, let's come to Euro USD. Um, it happened when we were trading Euro USD. So what actually happened here is, um, you know, we spotted this trade right here. And in fact, you know, um, we we're supposed to enter here when the market was still somewhere around here. But price instead, it came and then it played a bit. It didn't come to our entry. We had buy stops. We were ready, you know, we're fully charged, but it didn't go all the way to our entry. And boom, look at this. It went and hit take profit. So we missed out. So I was like, okay, no, um, let me just observe it and see what I can do moving forward. So you can simply see here during the night, um, somewhere around here, it was approaching evening, some yeah uh, i was able to spot this beautiful trade i think this one yeah i said on the five minute so let me just go to the five minute it's a bit messy i understand let me just delete this since it didn't take this so on the five minute what happened is that the same thing happened price went up it went down and i was like you know what i want to buy when price test around here and price came it did test around here but it just didn't go as low to a point where it activated us so just with this we were not tagged in but instead you can simply see that eventually when price came here let me remove this so it's not too complicated but eventually when price came here if only i just had my stop by my entry my buy limit and stop loss and take profit if i left it and i had it be like this um what would have happened is that eventually after price went up it was gonna come down activators buy and then just a bit of a drawdown close to 80 percent of a drawdown double bottom and then boom back in profits here and then boom in profits hit take profit 3.3 percent was gonna be sick short but one thing that i didn't like is that firstly the time frame that it was gonna activate me look here we will have activated around 5 5 a.m and you know yeah our take profit was gonna be somewhere around um around 10 a.m so it was gonna take five, five hours for this trade to run but i just didn't like that and on top of that i just didn't like the fact that like now the market has already progressed it likely didn't break above here the, the highest height but it has progressed about a bit upwards so if it does go down i was gonna even look at a different area but that's just something else so let's go over to gbp nasdaq there's a trade that we took right now within the team um i'll just show you guys we took this so let me just come here so i can show you guys this trade that actually you we actually did take so you can see us 10 so now there's the trade and the risk reward one is to eight you can see what the risk reward is for one is to eight point two five and yeah when you took it it was still right here like this but now you can see it's progressing better so yeah guys this is the trade that is currently running but i want us to be able to speak about how is it that we can capitalize and be able to use the re-entry method in order to never miss out on trades and obviously if you'd love to find yourself trading with us being able to create such trades with us we have a partnership that is going on with iq markets whereby you can easily follow three simple steps which will allow you to be able to take our signals to be able to take our trades trade sessions live training sessions and all of that the very first link that is in description is where you can check it out but coming back you can simply see right here yesterday we caught a beautiful 
beautiful cell. Um, when was it? We caught it not here. I think we caught it. No, we caught a cell somewhere here. I'm not too sure. We caught a cell somewhere here. I'm not too sure if it's here or if it's here. I'm just not too sure. But I know most definitely that this one here we missed out on it. This one we missed out. So I think it's the cell that we caught somewhere here. But yeah, so what happened is that um, you know, we did catch the cell. So let's say for instance we saw this initial cell, it went down, it confirmed, it went a bit more high. So this one here was where we were supposed to also have took a cell. But because of the fact that I looked at the time, it was like a bit more late. It was like what nine. The market was gonna choose choose to like ten. So it was gonna be spread, was gonna influence us and all of that. So I was not too comfortable to take it. But one thing that I saw is the press started shooting downwards. So what I done is that the more it went into profits, I just um started formulating more setups for me to be able to execute. So let's say now for instance, um when it went into profit, I never had fear of missing out or you know thinking oh the market left me and all of that. But instead I just told myself that you know what when price was still somewhere around here, I was like you know what we've got this area here being our previous this is our high this is our low and I was like you know what this area once it does break if it goes back up I'll take a sell but even though we saw how price went down it didn't break yet but it pushed a bit more upwards so what it done for me I took it as it really came to test around this area here which means that it now allowed for me to be able to get a re-entry so as soon as that happened we didn't waste any time and um, went through a process where we had you know this trade running in massive profits <laughs> And then giving it all the way back to the markets and then trying to catch another trade. Rather, you enjoy the profits going all the way down, you know, um, and you are able to just skill as the market pushes downward. So, what I mean by that, what I mean is that it's enough, for instance, um, you have, you are looking for your, your setup, your strategy is more on when pressed and it does this, you're gonna wait for it to test here and then you're gonna buy it, then you're gonna go up with it. This is what you are looking at. So, let's say if press not didn't, it done this, it went up, it left you, so you are not able to secure a trade on it. The best thing that you can look at is also allowing price to retest back up at there because the fact that it did go in your direction the first thing it should confirm your bias it should confirm that your trade is valid your setup is valid but the only thing you need to do now is finding the right entry and i've seen a lot of people what they do is that they get in the markets trade go against them hit stop loss they are already they are trying to buy and sell they are doing a lot of things the revenge trade and whatnot and then you're giving away money so the best thing that you can do either is to have specific risk management strategies so when i say specific i mean in terms of you need to be able to look at okay i'm gonna take two entries no matter what i know most definitely if a trade hits my stop loss i have one more entry on the trade let's say one percent i went in one percent and hit my stop loss i only have zero point fifty percent to play around with i only have this this to play around with so up for me to be able to get back to risking one percent i need to take a trade using zero point five percent and then what i have to do is i need to make at least two times this which is gonna be one percent then now i'm back at break even i can go back to taking my one percent trades okay so with this one percent uh with the 0.50 percent sometimes remember our targets are like three percent we normally take three percent on the, our risk to reward is three times more than what it is so automatically i know with this instead of making one percent desires i'm gonna make 1.5 percent which puts me ahead i was right i mean i was wrong at first eventually i became right but just with this it puts me ahead because i reduced my risk but at the same time my setup was right so i was able to make a few profits because remember in the markets it's not about always making making the most that you can make i know some people are gonna test this they are gonna see results from this and they're gonna be like you know what i'm not gonna reduce my risk i'm gonna keep my risk the same but it's gonna be a bit more um it's gonna mess up your psychology because if you risk three trades if you take three trades in a row doing that exact same method or four trades in a row automatically you are done by four percent of your whole account whereby if you follow this method that i'm showing you won't be done by four percent instead look at it you're gonna take one percent you're gonna take 0 0.50 zara one percent so basically you are now on two percent then 0 0.50 which you are now on what you are now on 2.5 percent compared to you this game one percent one percent one percent one four percent so now you have still 1.5 percent of a buffer of seeing that you can play around with compared to having that whole four percent down the drain so that is one of the things that i want us to look at so how i normally go about it is that as soon as the very first treat like i did say 0.1 percent went up i reduce my risk and then i open up my mind towards other entries that i can capitalize on let's say now for instance i know that price went up and then maybe it's gonna come back and play around i'll just wait for a setup and maybe i'll just wait for a setup and then maybe it breaks below here but i know that i'm coming here then here maybe i'll be looking for some demand zones so as soon as price gets here maybe now i'm 
going to be much more i'm better at observing this what i'll do is that maybe i'll wait for press to just go a bit more it's been doing this wait for it to break somewhere yeah once it breaks maybe a high or something similar to down the fight i'll even go to as low as the five minute in order to be able to spot these moves because that's how they matter to me and as soon as maybe press does this as soon as press does this maybe it goes up as soon as it breaks here for me it is confirmed it is broken be above here so what i'll do is that i'll more likely come here be able to put my buy limit below be able to put my stop loss and then my take profit right at the high i find out that uh, automatically when it does come back to retest it activates me and then boom it goes all the way up and takes profit so that is one of the worst of the best ways that you can see it because why yes you know you would have made some profits here but maybe you, you had some profit take profit somewhere here or somewhere let's say you had a take profit somewhere here looking at however the market is you had a take profit here and press and does this maybe your management is not really on point press does this and it goes all the way back to your entry so for me a person like me i was patient enough to wait six hours without placing a trade but i was waiting for that exact trade that i'm waiting for compared to a person that caught the new trade they saw it but during this whole um retracement they are gonna hold the retracement and i'm not gonna be involved involved in the markets when they're holding a retracement but as soon as it goes back into our direction i am gonna be in the markets but they are now once it maybe hits it starts moving up and it's here they're gonna take profit because they feel like oh i had many profits and press went about below me and now you know it's almost like i, I feel like i'm giving back so they want to lose profit quick and better entering at the right time so the one of the best things that you should do guys is remember you need to have two entries so the first entry you know that is what you are going to enter when the market does happen to do that the second entry is if it's not ready but you still believe in the bias everything is still confirming but you're not ready then there is the second entry where you reduce your risk and on top of that you now start by scaling and the more it goes into profit then there is how you can now start growing your account and being able to see and work with much more bigger numbers so that is one of the best ways that you can go about it currently you can simply see here with you know us 100 one thing that we're looking for is for this press to at least press breaks below here it would have confirmed um you know more of a seller's um movement because once it does break below here like this boom break below and the one thing i'm waiting for is just like a replace play around and then boom i'll take my second entry maybe somewhere here i'll observe what the market is doing at that time i'll take my second entry somewhere here maybe put our stop losses here our stop loss for this will be back and break even or a bit into profits and we are still targeted in the same area so find out that this trade that was supposed to be a eight percent has now flipped into a eight plus the seven so it is now a total of 15 percentages so yeah this is something that i'm actually looking at but also with also things like your euro usd the lesson that i got from it this is something that you know it happened to me yesterday but i took note of it i took feedback and now it's all about improving that is why i felt like um you know i should rather just record myself saying this so that someone that is learning from me can be able to also understand these strategies and they can apply it and they can see them work on their own but that is it for today's video guys i hope you guys were able to spot out the entry methods being able to just understand more on this re-entry method style and being able to understand and differentiate the two differences of what is revenge trading and what is re-entering because once you are able to differentiate the two you'd be able to spot that and a lot of people are trapped by the by, by trying to revenge trade but those that are actually re-entering they're using it's almost like you're doing that in a much more better strategy like let's say it's almost like you knowing that most definitely i only take two trades i'll risk the more let's say if he hits my stop loss i'm gonna reduce my risk you know there's a lot of factors that are coming into it but if you guys want me to make a thorough video explaining all of this i will be excited to make it at the same time i need you guys to just comment below this video let me know what you think about this video let me know also what it is that you'd love to see moving forward i'm excited that you guys were able to just watch my video up until this very end remember the very first link in description is where you can be able to access our trade signals daily live sessions weekly live sessions you name it for no cost truly speaking i'm at you so there will be there won't really be any cost so yeah that is something that you can look into if you are interested but i'm excited to stay and watch this video up until this very end if there's a very summer to be and i will see you on the next youtube video